Well, hello, Internet friends, wanting to learn Python and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we are going to talk about Python and databases and still on the SQLite uh, database. And we're going to talk about raw objects, raw objects. So let's get into it. So by default, the values returned by the fetch methods as rows from the database are tuples. The caller is responsible for knowing the order of the columns in the query and extracting individual values from the tuple. When the number of values in a query grows or the code working with the data is spread out in a library, it is usually easier to work with an object and access values using their column names. That way, the number and order of the tuple contents can change over time as the query is edited and code depending on the query results is less likely to break. So the connection objects have a row underscore factory property that allows the calling code to control the type of object created to represent each row in the query result set. Uh, uh, SQLite 3 also includes a row class intended to be used as a row factory. So column names can be accessed through row instances by using the column index or name. So we're going to jump into a example of showing you, you guys that. So we define, import our uh, SQLite and define our database. Data, uh, database uh, name and then we connect to our database and reduce on the change the row factor to use row Set the cursor the connection cursor. And then we execute then we execute our SQL statement. Deadline for project. Where the name of the projects is same. You can call whatever you would like. Just trying to get used to the spider ID. Fetch one. And then print out some message. Just a headline. Or these are price holders. The information that we want. Then we get the arguments. Then we 
execute another SQL statement. message excuse me format arguments we get the first one is ID line hopefully this will work correctly and we'll find the right folder and give it the correct name Let's try to run it, and here we get the. Okay, I see one problem here. Not a problem, it's just printing out to be a bit nicer. And we get the results. So this version of the previous uh, script which was called um, which was called sqli3 underscore select underscore variations dot py which was the previous video and that example has been rewritten using row instances instead of tuples the row from the project table is still printed by accessing the column values through positions through position but the print statement for tasks uses keyword lookup instead so it does not matter that the order of the columns in the query has been changed so this is a very short video and uh, i hope you have enjoyed it and please if you have enjoyed it please do subscribe hit the like button uh, share the video comment uh, is there if there are any things that you find useful and please provide feedback and 
thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a great friend and a subscriber and i hope to see you in the next video okay bye guys